Bobby. Tell us, Bobby. Good morning, babies. Good morning, kiddies. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to our day in the life. So it's currently uh, 10 o'clock. We've been up since about 10 past eight. And um, it's quite funny actually, usually, well, I never ever set an alarm. Because usually I wake up or uh, dad has to go to work for eight o'clock. So we're usually always up. Um, but he was out working late last night, he was on call, so we didn't get in till gone midnight, which meant that he got to sleep in this morning, so he had to be at work a bit later. So he didn't set his alarm, and typically, um, last night for the twins, um, just put the dummy back in, that's Madison. Uh, typically, last night, um, so the twins are in their own room now, and last night was night two, I think. Um, they woke up about two for a bottle and then woke up at five. Um, but instead of giving them a bottle, I, they was kind of stirring rather than actually woken up. So I just popped the dummy back in and actually put them in bed with us and they went back to sleep. So um, they didn't actually wake up till about half past eight, which was really good. Um, I've lost where I was going with this now. Oh, yeah. So anyway, we've been up and um, we've had some play this morning. I've put the girls on their mat and uh, read them a few books and now I'm just put them down for a nap um but as you can hear it's not going the best Darcy's falling asleep Madison's just staring um but they are tired so they'll hopefully go down for a sleep now for a couple of hours and I will get dressed and probably put some washing out on the line because it looks like a lovely day today we went out all day yesterday and i got really really stressed out i don't know why and it was raining i wish we chose to go out today instead because the weather looks lovely but we'll just have a day at home today and get some bits done so just to show you this is typically what tends to happen uh, especially at night time so Darcy as you can see on the right which this is bizarre as well because I always keep Madison on the right usually so I don't know what I'm playing at today but Darcy can self-soothe and go to sleep really well whereas Madison struggles you can see that she's tired and she keeps losing her dummy um but yeah she just takes a little bit longer Darcy will She's working up there, but she'll soothe herself again in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's bizarre. They're exactly the same person, yet their personalities are so different. It's okay, princess. It's okay. I'm trying out these new dummies that I bought yesterday. Well, that one's a new one. This one's an old one. Um, I don't, I'm not quite sure I like it, but they also like muslin squares kind of on them. Um... So yeah, look, straight back to sleep. Madison will just take a, a few minutes of wriggling around. So the girls have been asleep now for maybe, oh, it's actually half past, oh, it's actually 25 to 11. So they've been asleep for about 35 minutes. And instead of going upstairs and getting dressed, I've sat here on my phone and flipped through Instagram. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go, actually go upstairs now and get dressed. Um, and get ready for the day. So just quickly touching on Instagram, obviously today I'm doing a day in the life, but um, I don't obviously always do these or won't always do these, but I do post on Instagram daily, like I, what we do daily, what I've been buying, any tips, tricks or hacks that I've got, anything like that. So give me a follow. Ah, oh, I forgot I only half made the bed and everywhere's a bit of a mess. So I'll quickly tidy up in here first and then get dressed. The twins are always really good at telling me when they finished with their poo um, because they'll just start crying like straight away as soon as they're finished. So we we'll always know, don't we, princess?
So it's typical, just before I've managed to get ready, Darcy obviously woke up because she had a poo and little Madison is starting to wake up as well. Hello, princess. The time is 10.47, so they've had about 50 minutes sleep. Um, they don't really tend to sleep that much during the day. And actually, I don't know if you can see, Madison is pooing. <laughs> um, so that's um, something that's weird and wonderful about the twins. They always poo at the same time, not literally at the exact same minute, but as you can see, Darcy's literally just had a poo. I've changed her and now Madison's having a poo. So I will wait for Madison to finish, probably put them in their bouncy chairs and put dancing fruits on for them so I can quickly go upstairs and get dressed. Oh yeah, we're definitely doing the poo face. Should your mum stop videoing me whilst I'm pooing? Sorry, princess. I can smell it. So I've got Madison now. So I'm going to come in the room and change Madison's bum. Darcy's still on the changing mat, just chilling. So yeah, can you see her? Still got everything out, luckily. Those little caddies, um, it was on my list of things to get, but it was actually given to me. Somebody bought it to me as a present and filled it with lo lo lots of lovely little bits. Um, for me as well, actually, like candles and um, sweets and bits. So that was really nice. But I love the caddy. Um, use it every day. Um, downstairs, I've got in it nappies, wipes, thermometer, creams for the bum and creams for like the face and stuff. Um... I've still got some like syringes and things in there from when they was having medication. I've got like teething powders. Everything I need or would potentially need like straight away is in that caddy. And it's so easy. You can take it upstairs, you know, easily. I just keep it in the corner of the room so it's out of the way. But it saves you having to get up and get get up um, and get, you know, nappies or whatever every day. Um, so I just fill it up. I don't even fill it up every day because it's so big. I can put so many nappies and so many wipes in there. I probably fill it up maybe once or twice a week, to be honest with you. So, yeah. I know I need to change her bum. I know she's pooed and I'm going to change her. But she's just giving me a cuddle. And it's so cute. Princess. Oh, I could sit like this all day. <laughs> So um, I've changed both of their bums now and I'm going to put them in their bouncy chairs and put dancing fruit on on the telly so that I can get five minutes to get dressed. Okay, so I've put the girls in their bouncy chairs. They do have like a little bar that goes across that they can play with, but to be honest, they don't tend to play with it. Some, when they first, when we first got it, they tended to sort of put their arms towards it as if they're hitting the little things, but they don't really care for it. Um, but they don't mind sitting in their chair if it's for short periods. And I've put on Dancing Fruit for them. So this is on YouTube, it's Hay Bear. Um, I don't actually think it's called Dancing Fruit, but I call it Dancing Fruit because that's what they're doing. Oh, it's called Hay Bear Sensory Smoothie Mix. Um, and they absolutely love it. Uh, so this will give me 
I'd say at least 15 to 20 minutes to go and quickly get dressed. Um, when they get fed up, they'll tell me. I don't tend to put them in front of the telly very often. Um, we do always have it on in the background though. So yeah, we do always tend to have some form of kids uh, thing on in the background. Usually after the hay bear sensory thing on YouTube, there's lots of like songs and things. So I tend to sit and sing the songs to the girls. Oh, I've missed it now, but Darcy was smiling and kicking her legs and having fun. So yeah, I'm gonna go now before I miss it. Dancing fruit is still on. Hello, girlies. Are you okay? Girlies. Yeah, they're absolutely fine. Kicking away. So I'm just going to put some washing quickly out. Talking about washing, this is my pile that I need to sort out. And that one there, that's from Brooke's bedroom and I've just added some tea towels to it. I need to also clean the floor because that is disgusting. Um, if anybody ever thinks of having white tiles, they pick up every single bit of fluff that you could imagine. So, yeah, I'd advise against white tiles and white walls as well, actually. White tiles, white walls, pick, you see all them up. So it's quite funny, the girls just started whinging a little bit because Dancing Fruit finished. But this is some of the songs that I talk about that we sit and sing while I sing. They're not particularly interested in this though, so, and I haven't put the washing out yet. Looks so. like the washing will have to wait. Okay, so I completely forgot. I mean, it's 20 past 11, I forgot about tea. <laughs> well, I thought I'd forgotten about tea and I was just about to take some mints out, but I've already taken mints out. And I've literally just got this out of the freezer. I actually think I'm losing the plot. I think since I've had the twins, 
I've lost it, mate. Anyway, they will want a bottle at, well, between 12 and half past 12. So I'm just going upstairs now to get them some clothes. We've had a bit of a chill morning today because I knew that we wasn't going out. If we were going out, however, they would obviously have been dressed by now. And it actually seems quite nice outside. So I've got a little short jumper combo. I'm going to put them in it. Let's see what that looks like. We're both dressed and actually they're tired but it's also nearly feed time so i'm going to make them a bottle a little bit early and then put them back down for a sleep so let's go make a bottle so every night before bed i make these little pots that's got formula and gaviscon in it and the girls both have a sachet of gaviscon um, at every bottle as well so as you can see i used them last night and during the night but i've actually got two left so I'm going to use these for the bottle. It's just so much easier and quicker um, than having to measure out the scoops. As you can hear, the babies are both crying. So um, it's easier to use these little tubes. Now, at the minute, the girls are having six ounces um, at each feed. And I use the Tommy Tippy prep machine to make the bottles. And I leave the machine on whatever number I've put in these little pots so I don't forget. But basically, um, you put the bottle under there. That These are actually man bottles. And you put the uh, machine on and it puts water in there. First of all, it puts in a hot shot. And you're supposed to then put your formula in. I'm just going to go and put the girls' dummies back in because I can hear them both crying. Oh, look at you, princess. One minute. One minute, darling. Oh, she doesn't want to. Good girl. One minute, darling. Um. So, yeah, if you can hear that bleep, so what you're supposed to do now is put your formula in and that kills all the bacteria in your formula. And then you press the button again and it puts um, cool boiled water in. 
so that your bottle will be ready to drink at temperature. Now, I haven't put the formula in because the girls are on a medicated form. So basically, it doesn't need to go in at the hot shot stage. And if I did put the milk in at the hot shot stage, then it would split because it's not actually cow's milk. Um, so I don't recommend that for other people, obviously, but we're on a special milk, so that's the reason why I do it this way. Um, so I've put both shots in, just waiting for it to finish, and then I'll put the powder in. It's just putting the powder in now. I'm just looking at the clock, actually. It's only 20 to 12. The girls' next bottle is not actually due until half past 12, so they're early again. I think we're going through a bit of a growth spurt at the moment. We was like this yesterday. I went uptown. Um, and they wanted feed in an hour early. And usually I always take a bottle with me, um, pre-prepared, because it can be made for two hours, this milk. Um, I've read that from the website, so other formulas will be different. Um, so usually, uh, you know, it's okay whilst we're out and I'll feed them before we go. They wanted feeding early yesterday. Um, so I had my mum with me, luckily, so I could feed them uptown. Um, but I mean, if I was on my own, I wouldn't have been able to feed both of them, which would have been quite frustrating. And I got a bit upset yesterday because I'm quite an independent person. So I'm just filling the Tommy Tipping machine up with water. Um, it, it needs water. Um, I'm quite an independent person and I like to think that I can do things on my own. Um, and yesterday was the first sort of time that I realised that actually I need someone with me. Okay, so I'm using these mum bottles and I've not got a, a pink big one clean. Um, you only actually get five ounces in here. You can fit six in, but because of the size, you can't shake it. So I'm making it in a Tommy Tippy bottle, which is a bit bigger. Um, I need to get some more bottles, basically. I'm just being... Um, whatever been a bit tight i suppose at the minute not tight i just haven't got around to getting any more bottles um anyway and it was the first time i realized really that actually when you are a mum of multiples you do need help and support not necessarily in looking after your babies but like yesterday there's absolutely no way i could have fed both babies on my own because they're both in the carry cots they, they can't sit up yet I think when they get to an age where they can sit up and they're in the actual push chair bit of the pram, I can feed them both together at the same time. Um, I just can't do that at the minute because they're laid down. You can't feed them laid down. It's just not fair. Um, I'm going to get their feeding pillow ready for the bottle whilst that water's still going in there because you can hear them screaming. Okay, so you might have thought then, oh, why are you not consoling the babies? They're crying, but I know exactly what's wrong with them. They're hungry and consoling them, I'm afraid, is not going to help at the minute. Um, their dummies are in, they're still crying. So the only thing that's going to work is me making them a quick bottle and feeding them. So just shaking this up so that the mixture of the formula and the water is made. And then they can have the bottle. So like I say, they're on six ounces at the minute. And it's literally only just gone up. Um, they drink anywhere between four and six. That's really why I've only got a few of the big bottles. Because we didn't really need them. But now it's getting to the point where we do. And like I say, I think over the last few days they've been having a growth spurt. Um, because they're drinking their bottles earlier. They're drinking more. So, um, yeah. Considering those premature, they're putting good weight on. So Madison's 11 pounds and Darcy's, sorry, Madison's 11 pounds 14 and Darcy's 11 pounds. So that's really good. Right, let's go give them their bottles. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me over the screams, um, but I'm putting muslin squares on the girls now so that I give them a bottle. You'll notice that when you put the muslin squares on them, they do go quiet for a little minute. They do know that the food is coming. So this is what I call, or what is actually called, a twin feeding pillow. Um, can't really see us, can you? Let's move that around a little bit. Sorry, princess. So this is a twin feeding pillow. I absolutely swear by this. Um, it allows me to feed the twins together on my own at the same time and gives me that bit of independence, allows me to have a routine where I can feed them both at the same time and not have an issue. 
yeah, so the twin feeding pillow is an absolute godsend. Um, a lot of people use them. You can buy, I think they're actually technically, let me turn that down. Technically, they're breastfeeding pillows and you can get single breastfeeding pillows. They're obviously really common, but double breastfeeding pillows, you don't see them anywhere. And I suppose there's not really a lot of um, items out there specifically for twins or that you can get from many places. But this is actually from Amazon. Um, on Instagram, there was a lady that was messaging me asking because she couldn't, I'm not quite sure where she was from. Um, but she wasn't from the UK and she couldn't find a twin feeding pillow anywhere. But luckily, I think most countries have access to Amazon. Um, and yeah, I just got it off Amazon. Well, actually, my mother-in-law bought it for me off Amazon. We, um, when I was in hospital, we mentioned that we needed one. So she, she ordered it. It was one of the things that we hadn't got around to ordering before the twins came because they was early. But um I use it every single day. Um, I think they can range from anywhere from about £30 upwards. But if there's anything that you will get your money's worth, it's this. And even if I'm not feeding them, I'd sit them in it. Not so much now because, I mean, I still sit them in it. But when they was younger, um, a lot smaller, you could kind of put them in it and know that they wouldn't move. You can't do that now because they're starting to wriggle down. I mean, they're 17 weeks actually. To, oh, yesterday. It's Wednesday today. 17 weeks yesterday. So they're four months and they're starting to sort of wriggle. You can see in their cot like they wriggle, sort of wriggle down. Um, so I couldn't leave them in it unattended unless it was sort of on the floor and they was on lots of cushioning. Um, but yeah, just to sit in, it's quite comfortable for them. And what we do now as well, we try and put a pillar at the top so we kind of prop them up in it. Um, they love it. And like I say, it's the best £30. Well, I didn't buy it, but... It's one of the best items and I go on about it all the time. If you are a twin mum or a mum of multiples, you definitely need a twin feeding pillow. Okay, so we're sort of halfway through the bottles. The girls have both had three ounces. It's weird, they both drink exactly the same amount at the same time. Um, so I'm just going to win them both now. So I feed them both at the same time and let me just turn it around so you can see them. So there is Darcy and there is Madison. Both bit milk drunk. Sorry, I just got a phone call. So yeah, so I've fed one of the twins, um, burped her, or winded, I don't know why I said burped, I've watched too many American videos. Um, and now I'm gonna do Madison. So yeah, that's one thing that they don't struggle with re really is their wind, which we've been really lucky with. They do struggle with reflux and that's why they're on the special milk. One minute, princess. Um, but Darcy was just sick then when she burped. Um, well done, see, um, Madison wasn't sick then, but I just have to be careful once they've had their bottle, have to sort of sit them up for around half an hour so that they're not sick. That's them both telling me they want some more bottles, so I'm going to feed them both again. So my friend's actually just called and said she's going to pop round for a cup of tea or we might go out because I think the weather's lovely. So um, our day's changed today. Um, so we'll see what happens. We might go out, we might not. Um, but we're just finishing having the bottle for now. So Darcy has just finished her bottle. Um, so she'll just... Oh no, that's Madison. Sorry, it's the way the camera's... I'm holding the camera. So she'll just wait there a minute until I've finished feeding Madison. And then I'll win them both again. She's had... Um, got five ounces so there's only a little bit left in there so like I said anywhere between four and six ounces they drink Madison's still going so she might drink a little bit more she's actually a little bit bigger than Darcy um, doesn't necessarily she mean she drinks more which is bizarre um, but she's still going at the minute so we'll see okay so Madison's finished and I'd say she's had about five and a half ounces there's even less left than Mad. Uh, Darcy, God, I'm getting them all mixed up today. Oh, and Madison has just been sick. Never mind. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Honestly, baby brain. I'm. St I swear, I'm still suffering with baby brain. Um. So, oh yes. Yeah, so, Madison's actually had an extra half an ounce to Darcy. Oh, princess. So, Darcy is. Oh, and she does. Okay, so 
I'm now feeding Darcy and as you can see I've got Madison here um she's late lent up me so I'm just going to wind her at the same time it's these sort of things that you have to do when you're a mum of multiples you have to be able to multitask and do two things at once good girl um good girl yeah so we tend to come up with lots of weird and wonderful ways to do things feed one baby and wind another um but yeah you just pick up your own ways really and I'll just show you where I am just feeding as well. So Darcy's actually finished her bottle now. So she's actually had more than Madison. So the smaller twins had the most. Um, and I can see my friends just turned up, which is nice now that we're easing out of lockdown, that we can do things and meet people. So we'll give you a bit of an update soon. So it's actually a lovely day. Um, my friend's here now. So we're going to go for a walk to a local cafe. Um, with the twins and her little girl have something to eat and it'll actually be nice to have some form of normality but I just need to get my pram out of the car so I keep it in the car now um, so then it's out of the way so oh that's what I'm doing not very good at driving, but we're just off. So out. Coral stopped by to see us, and this is little Ella, and we've got our prams, and it's a lovely day. She's so we're going for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> is that you, Ella? Ella, where's Ella? Where's Ella? Say hello. There she is. <laughs> Coral and Ella have had a bit of an unexpected day today. Poor little Ella's had um, a heart operation recently, and they were due to have. Um, a scan at the hospital and they've rescheduled it or some issues but um ella's got a page on instagram so go and check it out and follow her story but we're going now for something to eat and drink uh hopefully the twins will sleep because they haven't slept all morning and they've been a bit whingy but yeah making the most of the relaxed restrictions and the lovely weather Being such yeah. a good girl, having a look around. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our first time sat in a restaurant and we're here with Coral and Ella. <laughs> We've got Madison here and Darcy's in the in the pram somewhere. So just having some food. I didn't realise that it's still, if you buy a meal, your kids eat free, which is amazing. You only have to spend a pound and then your kids will eat free. So take it up. So we're gonna have some food now and then have a nice walk back home. I don't know where the day's gone today. I don't know what's happened to my hair. It always goes frizzy at the end of the day. Um, but I'm absolutely knackered. It's now 10 past 10. I didn't realise the time, so I've told Brooke to go upstairs and get in bed. I'm, I'm sitting down with a cup of tea. But the twins took ages to go down tonight. Me and Stacey's been upstairs trying to get them to sleep for about... How long has it been, Stace? An hour. Oh, about an hour. Um... And we was late sending them to bed. Um, nothing's really gone to plan today. Um, we're gonna have a cup of tea, still need a shower, still need to get the bottles ready for tomorrow and the night, and pack up for Brooke for school. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> out the shower and I'm just making sure I've got the bottles ready for tonight. It's currently 11 minutes past 11. Oh, 11, 11. Um, so I really need to go to bed because I'm tired. So as I said this morning, um, because of the milk, I've just realised I've only put five ounces in that. 
five and a half needs to put a bit more water in it because of the milk that the girls have they don't need a hot shot so it doesn't need to be sterilized in terms of like the milk so obviously the bottles need to be sterilized but the milk doesn't need to go in hot water to sterilize the milk um so what i've started to do because the twins feed anywhere between sort of one to two o'clock in the morning and it's now gone 11 so i put hot water in the bottle six ounces and then i take to bed with me as well the um powder and then i will add the powder to the bottle and just shake it whenever they wake up so they've got a fresh bottle and the bottle will be room temperature i can't make the 11 12 1 i can't make the bottle now because if i did then i'd have to use it by one o'clock um, and sometimes they're a bit later than that so it's just easier to do it this way. I've only started doing this in the last week or so, um, but it's working really well. So I'm going to go to bed now. Thank you for following my day in the life.